recently received another user request question on No Stupid Questions about how to record a voiceover directly into Premiere Pro. It's actually pretty easy and something that you should uh, know when you're using the application. Um, you can basically use any microphones you happen to have hanging around. You've got a, you know, a typical Shure SM58 or a little bit more of a professional microphone. Uh, normally these kind of microphones, which have XLR connectors in them, they don't connect directly to uh, computers, especially an eighth inch jack into the side. So you need some third party tools, usually a supported uh, Firewire USB type interfaces that connect directly that support things like ASIO. Uh, anything that, that's supported by third party um, audio, we're gonna support inside Premiere Pro here. And if you've got that kind of a setup right now, then you're probably already using that to play out of your computer, which is great. But I'm just using my laptop here, so I'm not connecting this microphone uh, at all. I'm actually connecting uh, something very simple. It's just a little, it's called the Blue Snowflake. It's just a little USB um, microphone that I've got here just for these demonstration purposes. So it's plugged in and then inside my operating system, I'm telling it that my recording device, my input device, um, either in Mac or Windows, is this microphone. You can just go into the system and do that. Once you have that set up, inside uh, Premiere Pro in the preferences, and it's in the edit menu on Windows and uh, the Premiere Pro preferences on the Mac, you tell it what your hardware is, um, what you're connected to, and once you're connected to that, we now label our tracks accordingly. So here I've got some footage from Waylon Song, and you can see um, on A2, audio two over here on the left-hand side, I have labeled as voiceover, A3 as music, and A1 as the camera. Now, you might look at this setup and say, what happened to the rest of your Premiere Pro? Well, we're working on a very small screen here, so I thought I would just narrow things down to the most important part, which is the audio track mixer, uh, the program monitor, and the timeline. Of course, everything is still there, I just turn that off. And I could save this as a workspace. This is something that you, uh, you have the option of, of customizing inside Premiere Pro. All right, next step is to go over to uh, track A2, which is our voice over track, and you see three buttons, mute, solo, and record. And I'm gonna make sure that I have my audio turned down on my speakers um, or I have a set of headphones on because if you're recording um, this microphone and you have your speakers on you're going to get an instant feedback loop so don't do that just put a couple of earbuds in and you're off to the races if I click on record you'll see that I get my meters and you need to go to the little flyout menu here and choose this button meters input only um, if that's not connected then I can't get a level of my uh, my input so I leave that on and I set my um, my levels uh, accordingly that looks good again that's probably going to be set somewhere in your operating system you can override the the uh, input levels um, I'm just leaving the rest of the way it is and now all I have to do down at the bottom there's this record button and the play button so when I hit the record button I'm armed for recording is normally what this is called and all I have to do now is hit this play button or hit the space bar and I can start to speak and I'm talking I'm doing my voiceover as um, this is Waylon he's walking through the alleyway about to emerge into the sunlight and he's got a very determined look on his face going to check his directions here and make sure he knows where he's going for the next step in this movie walking along the uh, the outside street and of course I'm just rambling on here just to show you that uh, everything that I'm saying here is going to be recorded if I hit stop then you'll see the waveforms are drawn and I have my voiceover. I also wanna show you that I don't have to do this continuously. If I now move further down on the timeline, arm my track and hit play again, I'm going to be recording again from this point where he gives this snarly little look to the taxi driver sitting there waiting for someone. And I'll hit stop in here and there it is. So I'm gonna turn off my record uh, armed for this track and I'm going to take this back and now I'm going to enable my speakers and I'll hit play Four. and I can start to speak and I'm talking I'm doing my voice 
this a uh, little bit of JK into the sunlight there. and he's got a very determined look on okay pretty easy uh, so that's an easy way to record stuff directly into the timeline um, but we can take this a step further. There are a number of great enhancements inside Premiere Pro to allow us to affect and control this audio because, um, I mean, especially I'm recording on this little blue flake, the blue snowflake is not as uh, wonderful a microphone for full dynamic range. But if we twirl down our mixer up at the top, remember we're in VO here, click inside, we've got tons and tons of wonderful ways to affect this with... Um, EQs and multiband compressors and one that's deep down in here in the special is a vocal enhancer. Double click on the vocal enhancer, change it to whatever it is, female, male or music and it's going to uh, enhance that. It's kind of like a, a built-in compressor that's made just for vocals. On his face, he's going to check his directions here and make sure he knows where he's going for. Okay, that's one uh, effect that we've added. We could add uh, a ton of effects in here, but the other one I want to add is the ability to see my level. So back into special, the new TC electronic loudness radar, double click on that. And what this is going to help me to do is use all these different uh, loudness specifications. Remember, the loudness radar is based on perceived human hearing, and it will help you to make sure that what you're recording inside here, even on a simple uh, USB microphone, is going to be within the acceptable broadcast level. So when I play this back, movie. And by the way, I can just mute this so I can talk over it here um, on the, the camera. And you can see at this particular uh, preset, it's in the green, it's in the yellow. That is totally acceptable uh, for broadcast quality. And I can be guaranteed that this is not going to be too loud. It's not going to be too quiet. Of course, I can uh, automate the mix now. I can move this up and down and do anything I want to uh, control this. But that is a quick a uh, demonstration of how to use any number of microphones, good, bad, medium, or what have you, uh, to get good quality voiceover narration right into Premiere Pro.